Good afternoon, everyone. Cheryl Elisa for Urban Akron. And today I have a special guest here in the studio. Her name is Kay Bell, and she has a foundation called The Butterfly, which is spelled differently, and she'll spell it for you guys, The Butterfly Foundation. Hi, Kay. Good afternoon. How are you? Hi, how are you, Cheryl? I'm good. Thank, Thank you. Thank you for having me. I am so glad that you made it. Finally, you know, we were talking back and forth, and I thought, actually, this was very important, you know, the foundation that you have started, and um, I want the audience to know as well, you know, so we can just support one another. So my first question to you is, what made you start this organization? Well, you know what? Let's go back. I want you to spell butterfly for the audience for me. My butterfly is spelled B-U-T-T-E-R-F-I-I-F-O-U-N-D-A-T-I-O-N. And the reason why I spell my butterfly differently, for a few reasons, it's a few butterfly foundations in the United States. But my girls, we're different. My statement is, just when the caliper, caliper thought his life was over, he turned into a beautiful butterfly. Meaning, just because you're going through something or it doesn't seem like life is giving you, you know, the right thing right now, you can turn your life around. It's kind of like my story. And it was started, this foundation was started in 2012 by a very unlikely source with me. It was my daughter's father who believed in me, told me to go back to law school, and well, he believed in me and told me to go back to law school. And I was like, no, I can't do it, I can't do it. And he um, pushed me, but he was deceased, so I revamped it in 2012. Oh, good, that is really good. So you said he gave you the inspiration yes. to start this. So actually, what is the Butterfly Foundation? What does it actually stand for? The Butterfly Foundation stands for helping young women to see ages 13 to 18 to see into professional women. We have enough of everyday workers. We want to create some doctors, some lawyers, some teachers, some uh, accountants, some MBA degrees, some entrepreneurs, that type of thing. And letting you know that you can do it with the right support. Uh, we give help with like ACT training, tutoring. Um, I personally pay for these classes because a lot of times from the inner city schools that we come from, we don't get right in training right. like we need. To. That's right. Um, so, let me ask you this, um, what goals, like, do you have in mind? I know that you set goals. When you started out, um, doing your foundation, I'm more than sure, you know, in the back of your mind, you wanted to set goals to reach, um, for these young women. What goals, like, do you see, you know, them reaching? Okay, well, I'll use statistics. In 2012, I, I sent 12 girls, because I you, I also do my Cinderella effect which I dress you from head to toe, women, girls that can't afford to buy prom dresses and the hair and the nails and all that stuff. I do everything from head to toe, the same place I would take my daughter. Um, no same dresses, the same shoes, the same everything. Plus, I did get a lot of donations last year from Vera. Okay, oh yeah, really? Yes, yeah, she okay. gave me some donations. And I also, um, but the goal, I had 10 girls last year. This year, well, 2014, 2015, I think I did 25 girls with raising my own funding and support okay. from them. Oh, did you? Okay. I think that's actually, to go off just a little bit, I think it's a really good thing because a lot of these girls out here, they need this. You know what I mean? They need this. They're coming from a single parent home or just, you know, parents that can't afford this. Mm -hmm. And I also think that is a good thing for their self-esteem. Um, we're going to take a commercial break right now, and we will back, be back with you after these messages. Gateway Healthcare Services is a certified and accredited home health agency owned by Dennis and Tracy Cox. We provide skilled nursing, psych nursing, physical speech and occupational therapy, as well as home health aids and homemaker services, and medical social services. We can train your family members to become paid caregivers under some of our programs. Gateway Healthcare Services is located in Akron and Columbus. 
We accept Medicare, Medicaid, Passport, private insurance, self-pay, as well as all waiver programs. To contact us, call 1-877-505-4337. 1-877-505-4337. Gateway Healthcare Services. We're back, Cheryl Elisa for Urban Akron. We're back with Ms. Kay Bell, who is the um, founder of the Butterfly Foundation. And I got some more questions I need to ask you. Now, one of the things that I do want to know is the seriousness of the community for the girls. You know, how serious do you think, you know, as far as the community goes, steps are you taking or if anybody else like I don't know if you have anyone else that's helping you with your foundation but what steps do you take like I know you just said like you do crime dress you know do you reach out to other organizations in the community you know like what's your strategy well honestly I, like I said I have some donations from people basically it okay my one of my big Biggest, biggest supporters is the Bruno Lounge. They donated tons of money over this last six months. And my foundation for the late night, if you go out, I'm giving away free drinks and food. And courtesy of, only thing I ask is that you buy a 50-50 raffle. Half the money, the people get half the money go to my foundation. And that's going to be February 13th. It's a red and black phone. And um, that's, the, I, that's how I'll be raising money. And, and he have, on Thursdays, I have a temptation Thursday. He gave me a lot of the proceeds to put towards my foundation. Okay. And then I also have to, my father don't live here, but um, Bell Funeral Home, he donated a lot of money. It's been basically, I've been just going to people begging. Really? Yeah. And it's been working. Huh? It's been it's working. a good foundation. It's been yeah. working. And then I, what I don't do that a lot of people I see that help people do, I don't like to put the it's kind of embarrassing to, I think I would get more help if it's kind of embarrassing to them that people that can't afford to do stuff. And see, my foundation is uh, not about being judged. Right. I don't want no girl to feel like, well, they helped me, this is how I got this, and then everybody at Bookville or everybody at East or everybody at North, you know, and that's what forms bullying. And that's what I'm trying to stay away from. Yes, and, and you know what, and that is really a good point because that is so, it's like the norm now. Mm -hmm. Seriously, like the bullying effect is like the norm now. Now, are you doing this for all the schools or just like book or cluster? Where are you? I, I do it for all the schools. If you contact me and email me, um, I will try to help you. I also give out, and this is a small thing, toiletries. It's, it's, and you'll be surprised how many oh, that's girls a huge thing. don't yes. have deodorant and basic stuff that they need now. You can contact me and send that to the butterfly email, and I'll make sure you get okay. the basic stuff. Yes. And you know what? And actually, even though it is a small thing, which I understand what you're saying, but it is huge, actually. It's, it's huge. Because you're right. You really don't know how many girls are without toiletries, you know, and, and different things. You know, just the fact remains is, you know, you, we have to work on their self-esteem. And I say that all the time because there are so many young girls out here with low self-esteem, you know what I mean? And don't have a parent or, you know, someone to mirror after they can, you know, look up to and help them build them up. So with me saying that, what are you expecting to change their lives? What are you expecting out of this foundation that you want to change their lives? Do you see them, you know, like completing college? Yes. Oh, that's definitely. Yeah. What's your expectation? Um, that is my expectation. I see them completing a four-year college degree. Um, I have girls write a statement to me that promise me not to, and, you know, they may make mistakes, but promise me not to have to have a pregnancy to at least apply if, if schooling is for you because schooling isn't for everybody right and exactly. I got to make sure I let that be known and I also like people to mirror my own daughter so I don't just talk it for other people I have a 16 year old daughter um, she believe in you know doing the right thing she's actually be 17 in a few weeks and um, she got a 4.0 she go I have a everybody gonna let I have a daughter that go to book though I live in the that says something about, so I have a 11 year old, 13 year old that go to college. Okay. But I just want to show by example that if you do it the right way and you have someone to look up to, I was too embarrassed to come to my mom about anything. 
My mom was a single mom. She was hammered down. Mm-hmm. I didn't go to her, so I snuck and did things. And in that change, I made mistakes. Yes, after a long road, I kind of fixed them, but I still made mistakes. Right. So I want college graduates. That's what my foundation is about. I want people to come back to me and be like, thank you, Kay. Because of you, I was able to talk about birth control. I was able to talk about what's going on at home. I was able to get a dress where I don't get teased or get the right shoes and the right hair accessories. And that's what it. That's what I get a uh, pride out of. Um, I spend a lot of my own money. Mm-hmm. And I think that's a good thing. Yeah, I mean, a lot of it. And But that's why I just want to see people become successful. And I think as women, where it starts at is in childhood that you'll never – People are uh, spread everything negative about you, yes, but will never will. spread anything positive. So I think if I can stop that at an early age of learning to love each other as women, then someone else, or another girl, come along like you, and she will have a foundation that can give back and help. Yes, and that's what it is, you know, because at the end of the day, I always say we have to, as women, uplift one another. You know what I mean? Because you never know what somebody is going through, you know. And just like you just said, like you were scared to go to your mother. Me as well, and speaking of that, you know, what you were saying about your daughters, I have a daughter too, and she's 24, and I tell her, you know, different things. I'm, I'm proud of her, number one, because she's 24 with no children, thank I'm God. I'm proud of her too. <laughs> <laughs> and, you know, just, and, and I, I try to support her, you know what I mean? And I want to push forth her efforts, because I want to see her successful. And that's what the bottom line is. You want to see these girls successful? I think your foundation is amazing. And before we end this show, I want you to look in the camera and give everybody your information, where they can find you at, where they can donate items for the Butterfly Foundation. Okay, well, first and foremost, the easiest way to get in contact with me is 330-319-4169, phone number-wise. I, can, I have a web page, it's in development, so, but um, I have an email, it's B U T T. R F I I F O U N D A T I O N at yahoo.com. And if you know a young girl, Akron area, who need just basic, basic stuff like maybe help with homework and tutoring and maybe need somebody to pay that, toiletries, maybe prom coming up this year, um, help with that. Um, whatever you think, email me. Have her send me an email. She can send me an email. Everything I basically do, unless she want me to, to stay confidential. I, I'm not out to get on Facebook and be like, oh, I did this. I don't do that. Right. Um, and I'm hoping to get more people. Actually, I have something going on. I have some money donated. I'm going to give 10 girls in the next month $250 towards their prom or graduation expenses. I kind of want it to be seniors. So email me at that and just tell me why you think you should deserve the $250. And repeat your email address again one more time. B-U-T-T-E-R-F-I-I-F-O-U-N-D-A-T-I-O-N at yahoo.com. Thank you so much. You know what? I really and truly hope that, and I know, it's not even that I hope, I know, you know, because we're going to go positive, going towards this, it's going to be successful, you know, and anything that I can do. Our show can do. We are more than happy to support you, okay? Actually, I do have something to do. I'm okay. setting up a forum <laughs> for women to give back and talk to some young girls. And I would love for you to be on that forum. Thank you so much, Kay. And you know what? And that means a lot to me. I appreciate that. Thank you. you are wonderful. This is Cheryl from Urban Akron, and we will definitely see you next week.